Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about a little concern of mine that I have about my favorite current active bodybuilder, Nick Walker. It's regarding his stomach, his midsection. Before we get to this topic, I just wanna tell you guys, if you need a good pre-workout, Vintage Blast Max is your choice. It's an amazing pre-workout, it comes in so many great interesting flavors, you pick your own, whichever one looks the best to you and try it out and tell me how you like it. I'll be honest, currently I'm not using any pre-workouts. I just competed a week, actually two weeks ago, and I'm planning on taking it easy right now because just having enough sleep and eating enough food is enough for me. During the toughest days, the final days of my prep, I was using one or even two scoops of Blast Max and it was, it was helping, it was definitely helping a lot, but now I feel like I don't need any stimulants right now, but after two or three months of eating and sleeping, then I will add the stimulants, the pre-workout Blast Max, and it's gonna be amazing, I can't wait for that, after my receptors are fresh, Taking half scoop of Blast Max even is gonna help me breach that plateau. So guys, if you want something that is like moderate steam but a lot of focus, endurance, pump ingredients, then Blast Max is the thing for you. And if you need a 15% discount, just use the code even also. If you want to support me and my channel, this is the way to do it. Using any of the old school lab supplements, the link is down below. And again, if you use the code even, you also get a 15% discount, so we both win. If you guys do this, I want to thank you in advance, even if you don't, I thank you for watching the videos. Now let's go with the topic, Nick Walker and his gut. So this is the photo that he posted, from Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing. I'm emphasizing that he posted it, I didn't find this on a website or on another Instagram page, he posted this on his feed. What that means is that he was happy with what his waist looks like. That is his biggest weakness, his waistline. No, it's not his chest, no, it's not his back, it's definitely not his arms, it's not his shoulders, it's not really his legs, it's definitely his waistline, and he knows it. No matter how many times he says he thinks his waistline is great, he knows that it is a problematic area for him. However, when he posted his photo, he thought, hey, my stomach looks pretty good, so I'll post this, and he was conscious about this. Does his stomach look good in this photo? I wouldn't say so, it definitely does not. Now, all of you, I'm sure all of you are thinking, what are you talking about even? It's off season, it's not a show, I mean, it's just a guest posing, he's not competing here, he's gonna get his waistline down by the time he competes, and you would be right. But, if you take a look at last year's Pittsburgh Pro guest posing, let's take a look at it actually. Was his waistline blown out last year like it was this year? It sure was much bigger on that stage than it was later at the Olympia stage or at the Arnold. So you have that, sure, but I don't think it looked as bad. It was pretty bad, sure, like for a guy of his size it's kind of normal to have that much of a gut and he genetically has wider structure in that area, in that waist area, but I think his abs kind of looked different. It looked better, you know, his midsection was tighter, his abs were more prominent, more visible, more separated, and they just looked more aesthetic. I think now, and he was bigger here, he was definitely bigger here, he was full-blown off-season, right now he's like two months post-contest, it's different when you are deep into the off-season like he was here, he didn't do the last year's Arnold, so he had a full-blown off-season the entire year, and at this point he was probably at his most impressive, at his biggest. So he was definitely eating more food than he's eating right now, and he had more muscle. And maybe his stomach was, I think he didn't really try to control it as much, it was a little bit blown out, but I think it looked tighter. I think he kind of blew it out, I think he kind of messed it up a little bit now. Let's take a look at that guest posing once again, so this is from this year. Take a look at his midsection and tell me, does it look a little bit different to you? A little bit more weird? I think something is a little bit off with it. And it's not that he's just bigger than he was last year. I think he was bigger last year at Pittsburgh Pro because, again, he was deep into the offseason. Now, he's only two months post-contest, but something is off with his stomach now. Maybe, maybe he's just eating too much food. 
maybe he was just maybe he's just too tired from competing uh, too many times in a row actually doing the Mr. Olympia and the Arnold afterwards there was a big gap between these two shows and so now he's eating everything in sight and that kind of blew his stomach out temporarily that's the best case that's the best case scenario that's what i'm hoping for like i said he is my favorite bodybuilder of today of all active bodybuilders nick is my favorite i'm a fan of nick walker for sure of his training style of his youtube videos of his podcasts of his personality as far as physique i also love like the way his arms look how big he is if I could choose who I would like to look like the most from all active bodybuilders, I would definitely prefer Samson over Nick, I think most people would, but I find Nick very very impressive physique wise and also personality wise, he's definitely the most interesting guy there for me, he makes this sport more interesting, so again, I want to see him do well, I don't want to see him blow out his waistline, but based on what I'm seeing in these past couple of shots from this guest posing and from the stuff he's posting, I think he's having some issues with his midsection. I hope it's only temporarily because he's, I don't know, stuffing himself with everything on sight. I hope that's it, because that can be a temporary problem, but I am I would be really sad to find out that he destroyed his midsection and that it's gonna stop him, prevent him from winning the Mr. Olympia later this year or ever in his career. That would be a detriment. That would definitely ruin his career. What do you guys think about his waistline right now? Do you think he blew it? Do you think it's temporary? Or do you think it's just fine? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Alright, next up we have Andrew Jacked with a posing video. Why the hell did this guy not do the Pittsburgh Pro Guest posing? Or did they invite him? I mean, he is in an amazing shape right now. And he's a freaking mass monster. He would look super impressive in that lineup. However, he didn't show up. I don't know where he lives right now. Is he in America or is he in Dubai? I don't know what his, what his situation is, but he should have been there, man. It would be really, really interesting, really impressive because he looks like an absolute freak right now. This right here is the pose I want to see more progress in. As far as the other poses... They are all very good for Ender Jack. I mean, he needs overall more mass because he has such a wide frame. I mean, he's a big guy <laughs> for sure. Like, he's definitely one of the biggest guys today in, like, top 10 Olympia, for sure, because he's 6'2". But for that enormous frame of 6'2", he still needs more muscle. He needs more mass in his arms, maybe his forearms. I know it's such a small body part, but if he had thicker forearms, his front double would just flow much better, actually. It would, it would create a better illusion. I mean, he did work hard on his calves, and he improved his calves quite a bit. He had no calves a couple of years ago. So he can, he can definitely focus on his forearms, even though it's such a small, minor body part. Nobody is looking at the forearms, uh, just forearms, but they are creating an overall illusion of a more filled out physique. So I think his forearms and his arms are definitely something he can work on. Just do more hammer curls, man. I, mean, I, I would suggest that. Uh, as far as his back, that's, that's the area, like the back pose, that's the area where I want to see the most progress of Ander Jack in the offseason. Like, did he make progress overall right now? I don't think so. I mean, he's fuller, he's rounder, but he just filled up his glycogen stores, he gained some body fat, he's a little bit watery. Did he make muscle gains? Did he add contractile tissue over the past two months? Maybe a little, definitely not enough. If he wants to do the Mr. Olympia this year, he needs to compete soon. And is he gonna make progress if he competes soon? No. So I don't think he's going to compete soon. I think he's going to do the next year's Olympia, the 2024 Mr. Olympia, and try to qualify and get the qualification uh, in some of the shows next year. And I think that would be a smart move. He's a little bit older. Like, he's new to the sport, but he's in his late 30s. So he doesn't have, like, I don't know, 15 years of doing the Mr. Olympia. He has maybe a couple of more years, maybe five years, maybe 10 years. So every Mr. Olympia counts. But if he's not going to make progress on that stage, and he has the tools, he has the potential to win that freaking show, to become the best bodybuilder in the world. If he wants to do that, one year is not going to hurt him that much. He's stock. Like, he's, he is popular. He's popular enough. Sure, doing the Mr. Olympia, prepping and all that would help his popularity, but if he wants, like, a real popularity, if he wants to be the best 
bodybuilder in the world, which he can be. I think taking a year off would be definitely a smart decision for him. I don't know if he announced anything exactly when he's gonna he, when his next show is gonna be, but I think that would be the right choice. You know, taking the year off. Now here is the back shot when we pause it, and like I don't think he made any progress so far. Like it's 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 looking the same, really. He needs to work on his hamstrings and his glutes and his lower back and just overall more mass through the arms, through the, through the forearms. If he improves that, let's say 20%, I can see him being top 3 at the Mr. Olympia. Him, Samson and probably Derek. I think those are the guys with the biggest potential right now in the world. As far as the Mr. Olympia, I think it's gonna be a battle between Samson and Derek. This year's Mr. Olympia. But next year... Andrew Jack can very easily get into that mix, in that top 3. What do you guys think? Alright, also we got a little update of our current Mr. Olympia champ. If you forgot about him, it's Hari Japan. Yeah, <laughs> like he's not showing up anywhere, we don't really see anything of him. And he posted this, go back to the house of playful children. What does this mean? I have no idea. I think he's referring to the people who are criticizing him for not being active on social media or on anything, like just not being there. He is like the same as Big Ramy. You know, he won the show, he deserved that. He was the best bodybuilder on that stage. And this proved to us that the judging is fair. If the judging was about who's gonna represent the sport the best, they wouldn't choose this guy. Definitely, they wouldn't choose him. He doesn't speak English. He's not in the US. He's not even posting a lot of stuff on social media. He's not even doing it like, I don't know. I mean, he doesn't speak English. Okay. But he could hire somebody to make posts for him. You know, just take a couple of photos of him when he's training and, you know, post a couple of things during the day on, in on Instagram. And like, it's not really that much work. And it would help a lot. Like, everything is happening on social media, on Instagram. He doesn't really need to make YouTube videos. I know that would be a lot more work, but it would definitely be a great thing for us. But if he doesn't want to do that, you know, man, just a couple of shots, like one, one post a day, you know, maybe every couple of days. But he's not really posting anything, basically. And it really sucks, but it is what it is. Now, let's criticize his physique. When I saw this, I was like, well, you know, regular good old hottie, very lean in the off-season. Like, pretty hard. Maybe he got a little bit of water retention in his lower abdomen, but I don't know. I'm not really seeing any fat. A tiny little bit, but like, he's very conditioned, very big and full. Uh, I'm expecting him to look very good at the Mr. Olympia. I just expect Derek and Samson to make more progress than Hari because they are younger, they're fresher. I can expect them to beat Hari this year. Hari, I have him in my top three, but not higher than that. Who knows, maybe he's gonna beat them all and win it again, I don't know. After I saw this, I was like, okay, he's looking good. And he is looking very good, but then he posted this for this video as well. And you can see that he is accumulating some body fat in his lower back. And that is his trouble area. Even on stage, his lower back doesn't show great definition. And he was heavily criticized for that by so many people after he won the Olympia. Like, they were comparing his lower back to, like, Dorian's lower back. Uh, Dorian had like a really separated and dry lats, lower back. Hadi is not really showing that kind of separation. And so people were coming up with different theories. Why is that? Is it that he doesn't have developed lower back? Is it because he has, I don't know, nerve damage? I hate that word, but everybody's mentioning it. <laughs> so I have to say it. Uh, but no, no, as you can see, apparently just where he's accumulating body fat, and I'm guessing water retention as well. So that's his trouble area, and now you can see it clearly. So if he wants to show crispiness in that lower back, he needs to die down, like, furthermore, he needs to get more condition. And Hani Rambert obviously had a different strategy with Hadi. He wanted to go with size and fullness. Apparently it paid off. He won the Olympia. So I'm guessing we won't see that crispy, dry Christmas tree on Hadi's lower back anytime soon. Because a full-blown, blasting fool, Hari Chupan wins the Olympia. That's the most competitive state he can be in. 
Anyways, guys, we're gonna see what's gonna happen at the Mr. Olympia. Who's gonna show looking like what? Who's gonna place where? It's gonna be a very interesting year. As these guys are showing their physiques, showing us their updates, I will be making a ton of videos. So guys, subscribe to my channel for all the analysis, all the updates, all the shows, and whatever happens, it's gonna be happening right here on this channel. Once again, guys, subscribe. And if you wanna support me, if you want me to keep making these videos, you can do that by trying any of the old school lab supplements. Blast Max is what I suggest to you. The link is in the description down below. Please use the code EVEN. Just type in the code EVEN. You get a 15% discount and I get something from it as well. Once again, guys, thank you so much for all your support. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.